sir column uh, redundancy i don't know if it's possible yeah so what you would want to then do is you would use bit slice or column redundancy i would not say column i would rather say bit slice or a set of columns which share a sense amplifier so what what happens when you do this let us say a particular cell is failing so you add a bit slice or a set of columns let us say a particular cell is failing then what do you do you do not replace anything you simply disconnect that particular bit line from the io and instead you connect the adjacent bit line here and then the adjacent bit line and then you ripple it to the last io and the the repair io gets connected to the last io there so what has happened so let us say you were initially storing bit 0 here bit 1 here bit 26 here now you are not storing bit 26 here no see in the, in the row redundancy part what did we do in the row redundancy part if this was row 95 when the 95 address come the contents of row 95 are stored here hmm in column redundancy part we do not do that if it is row 26 I do not store row twenty. Uh, uh, if it is bit bit twenty six, I do not store bit twenty six in this extra column. No, I store bit twenty six in the adjacent bit slice. Then twenty seven, which was initially twenty eight. So this was twenty seven. This is twenty eight. So I just ripple it across, and then instead of storing bit sixty four here, I store bit sixty four there, and over here I store bit sixty three. are you able to see this sir after fabrication how are you i'm mean, like moving these wires as you want i mean like... so who said i'm moving wires sir you said you i mean we will be moving to right side so the wires so also move does connection always require moving wires do you know something called a mux yes so how can you use a mux over here okay we are moving the mux Or is just it changing the control signal of the mux oh yes 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 sir got it no physical movement of anything is allowed on silicon is it yes sir yes got it all that you can play is with electrical signals mm. so you control the uh, input of the mux and the mux would select until here it will select zeroth input and from here onwards it will select first input And it so we are programming yes, the control signal of the mux here. Like yes. we are changing the control signal of mux. Yes. Okay. Hana. Uh, sir, sir, in this case, uh, the bit order has. Uh, we are telling that the bit order has not changed. But the thing is that suppose if we find out that a particular column is faulty and we do the bit slicing, then immediately we run a read cycle. Then the bit orders which uh, from which we read will be changed. No, sir. So if you know something was failing, do you know that uh, and you did a repair, Ranjit? Then yes. you know that you have not written into this extra column yet, and 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 whatever you are writing or reading now is junk, is it not? Yes, sir. So you will not read that junk now. Huh? You will write into the memory all over again and then test it. So then, suppose if I have thousand twenty four words, then all thousand twenty four words should be rewritten again. Yes. And then there will be loss of data, no, sir. How do we retrieve? And we are uh, simply testing, Ranjit. We are just testing. Testing may be to say there, pakda gaya na. Okay. There is no real data that we are talking about. It's all test data. Isn't this during the runtime, sir, or is it just before? How the... can you do this run during runtime? How can you do a repair operation during runtime? Can you say that okay, I know the memory is failing, and then on runtime I will correct it there? Uh, this was what I thought, sir. Because we'll have some testability feature for each each cell uh, on the memory, and then uh, once it is detected, automatically we change the control signals. Yeah, this was but that is done in the beginning at the power up itself, or during test itself. Okay, okay, yes, sir. Okay, so before the memory is written into for the first time uh, during a real application, this correction has already taken place. Okay. Hmm? Yes, sir. Okay. 
good thanks for this question because i i could see that many others could also be confused okay what else any other questions on this uh, uh so when we are re designing replica path so it should be designed beyond this row and uh, the worst case cell would be in this sorry in this column then yes so when you are designing the replica path you have to consider the redundancy column also to be a part of the memory okay hmm? you cannot ignore it so in many cases as we saw uh, the replica path could be designed uh, like this you know in the center in the same manner the the redundant the redundant column could also be designed in the center okay so it's equidistant kind of doesn't matter uh, you could still uh, you could have a replica path like this but the redundant column could be here also these are all design decisions you are free to do them take them but yes you are right in saying that you have to ensure that the redundant column also does not fail that you have to ensure okay okay sir okay so 